Paul Collingwood led from the front as Durham restricted Gloucestershire to 266 for seven before bad light ended play early at Bristol. Gloucestershire came into this fixture off the back of a comprehensive victory over Leicestershire in round two, whilst Durham only reclaimed three of the points they were deducted during the winter in an opening defeat at home to Nottinghamshire. Gloucestershire went out to bat after an uncontested toss and Bancroft and Dent both managed to find the boundary early on. It wasn't long before Bancroft was heading back to the pavilion though, Rushworth bowling him for five. But despite the loss of an early wicket, Gloucestershire began to look comfortable against the Durham attack as Dent and Tavare built a strong partnership. And in the 24th over, Dent reached his 50 with a four off Collingwood. Collingwood soon got his way just before lunch though, first dismissing Dent in the slips for 59. And then three balls later, taking the wicket of Van Buren, out LBW for a duck, leaving Gloucestershire on 97 for three at lunch. After the break, the new pair of Tavare and Hankins ticked the scoreboard along nicely, building a partnership of 59 in the process. But Tavare was soon watching another teammate walk back to the pavilion after Hankins edged cars to Collingwood at first slip, out for 27. Mustard was the next man to join Tavare at the crease, who soon reached his 50 to follow his stand of 101 against Leicestershire in round two. In the 60th over though, Tavare's fine innings came to an end as he failed to get his bat out of the way of a sharp ball from Rushworth and feathered the ball behind for 61, Pointer taking a wonderful diving catch. Taylor joined Mustard at the crease and the two kept their wickets intact to take the score to 198 for five at tee. The Gloucestershire pair came out after the final interval playing positively. Mustard led the way and the pair built a useful partnership of 64. With Durham struggling to get the breakthrough, Jennings was given the ball and the part-time bowler dismissed Mustard for 38 before sending new batsman Miles on his way for naught, Collingwood taking his third catch of the day. In came Payne who managed to pick up two boundaries before bad light brought play to an early close. Concluding an entertaining day of cricket at the county ground, Gloucestershire finished on 265 for seven and will continue on day two with the match evenly poised.